you're looking through the American literature in the world anthology and you come across a read a death poem in the World War I section. You might ask yourself, what is a contemporary poet doing in this section? Dove's poem, The Return of Lieutenant James Reese Europe, actually comes from American Smooth, her eighth book of poetry. It's part of a sequence of poems called Not Welcome Here, which reimagines the story behind the story of different African-American World War I figures. So how did she get the idea to write this poem? It began with a photo. Picture this. It's New York City, 1919, an unusually sunny day for mid-February. Around 1 million people have gathered along 5th Avenue, Madison Square Park, 110th Street, Lenox Avenue North, and 145th Street, all to welcome home the African-American men of the 15th Infantry Regiment of New York's National Guard. They were also known as the 369th, or the Harlem Hellfighters. These men were the throwaways of the U.S. military, given to French command because U.S. forces couldn't imagine black and white soldiers fighting side by side. They survived 191 days under enemy fire and received the Croix de Guerre, a medal awarded by the French government for heroic deeds in combat. But they were still fighting for a country that denied them full citizenship. Would demonstrating loyalty and bravery during the war help them gain rights? Newspapers reporting on the parade seemed optimistic that change was on the horizon, but the parade turned out to simply be a spectacle. After the Harlem Hellfighters' incredible feat in battle, the U.S. sent France a memorandum essentially saying they didn't want the black soldiers to bring back any notions of equality to America. Following the war, segregation continued, particularly in the South. Amidst this background was a legend, Lieutenant James Reese Europe. Prior to the war, he was well known as a composer of syncopated dance music, marches, popular songs, and orchestral ragtime, and he played an important role in gaining national acceptance of a new kind of social dancing that stimulated a transformation in American culture. Serving as both the regiment band leader and the officer of a machine gun company, he and his band were famous for bringing jazz to Europe. Yet during the parade, his band played fairly strict French military marches. It was not until they entered the heart of New York's black Manhattan that they exploded into a popular tune. Here comes my daddy now. All to the ground. Why, it's my holiday. Uh -huh. You're feeling gay. I do a hip hip hooray. So where does Rita Dove fit into all of this? After all, there were African-American poets like Andy Rossoff who participated in the war and wrote about their experiences. Perhaps we can understand Dove's poetry as mediating different levels of history to produce a perspective we might otherwise not be able to see. And with that, I'll leave you with her words. I believe each of us experiences history on all these levels. There's the talk on the street, there's the front we put up in order to hide our true feelings, which is another level of personal history that's already a revision. Then there's history, the official version, whatever gets written down and lasts. So these interstices are fascinating. They are the nodes where we can be most aware of the ways in which we negotiate life, from the innermost feelings to the outward presentation. My poetry often emanates from that crossroads. I love the view it gives me.